Hey guys, what is up? Today I got a Cyanogen, not really review, but just uh, what's new in Cyanogen's new ROM. Uh, I actually have a checklist this time, so it'll probably go better than the last review. Uh, hopefully, I hope. I know this is probably the worst lighting I could possibly shoot my video in. Don't worry, the thing will be better. I already filmed it. Uh, so enjoy. Here you go. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, like I said, not a review, but this is a little what's new on, as you can see, the little skateboarder on Cyanogen. This is 5.0.5.3 that I'm on right now. Um, Cyanogen likes to do those point so-and-so. And I have one huge shout-out to make. Uh, this is a shout-out for Chris Sawyers. Uh, he was the one who made the key feature in this ROM possible, which is apps to SD, which is basically saving your apps to your SD card so you have more internal memory on your uh, phone, which is good because who doesn't like more memory? So big shout-out to him. You can follow him on Twitter, twitter.com slash Chris Sawyers. Uh, link is in the sidebar for that, or if you're Android Dog, on top of this post right up right up there. See what I do for you, Chris? I'd, I'd drop my phone for you. Let's get into this. All right, so here we are at the lock screen. Um, first thing you will notice, you probably won't notice it, is you got the sound on, but when you do that again, that kind of scared me. I thought it wasn't working. See up there, it goes right to vibrate. So it doesn't go to sound off anymore. It just goes to vibrate, which is cool for me because I only use vibrate. So... I am digging that. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people do. Also, there's an option to wake your phone with the trackball, which I like. Uh, it's all very new and exciting. Um, something you'll notice if you flash this ROM, um, up on your battery, there will be uh, your battery percentage up there inside your battery, uh, which some people like. I don't really like it because I get paranoid. I'm like, oh my god, how much battery life do I have left? Ah. But what you can do is download spare parts. Um, it's right there. And you have... Uh, where is it? There we go. Battery status display. Let's see if I just press it. No, nothing happens. You have to reboot. Uh, some people don't have to reboot. Some people do. I had to reboot to take it off. Uh, but it's off now. If it doesn't work, just reboot. You'll be fine. <clears throat> uh, if that doesn't work, I cannot help you. Um, what else is there? There's an, under, under, uh, there's an undervolted kernel on here, uh, which means it is faster. Well, it's a faster kernel, for one. And it's undervolted, which means you'll get better battery life, which is always good. Uh, and you can check that little tips and tricks video I had um, posted uh, about a month ago. Uh, and you can see my tips about getting better battery life also. Uh, but you can also use this kernel, which you will be if you're on this ROM. Unless you flash a new kernel, which I sometimes do. But I will not be doing that now. Um, so like I was saying, apps to SD is the big thing on this. Uh, you can go into applications. And you have an option for apps to SD. Just reboot. They'll probably be there, I think. I mean, that's <clears throat> what I understand. Um, here's my secondary... SD card, which is my partition. It is EXT4, uh, so you should use EXT4. Uh, that's just what I've heard. And then that frees up memory on your phone, which is good. Like I said earlier, everybody likes free memory. Um, I'll also show you in the sound and display. Um, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Trackball wakes device. I have that checked. Uh, you can have the trackball. Like if you turn that off, you should press the trackball. It'll make your phone wake up, which is cool. I like it. Uh, orientation, you have settings. So you can now change it if you want 360 degrees so you can turn your phone all the way upside down. Uh, I personally like, uh, where is it? I personally just like normal because I only turn my phone that way anyway. Yes, I am left-handed, and I use it right-handed. So all you people who are left-handed, get used to it. Thank you. I'm kidding. You can use whatever you want. Um, something else that is cool that is also by Chris Sawyers, he implemented a lot in this ROM, is there's a live wallpaper 
on this. Uh, it'll say Nexus, and it looks like Nexus. But you go into settings, and it's actually called uh, Nexus Mod, I think. Let me see. I have it downloaded. Yeah, Nexus Mod. I bought the donate version because I like Chris Sawyers. He's a cool guy. Um, but you have settings. Uh, you have a color scheme. Uh, you have all this cool stuff. The background is normal and dark, so that's the dark. I'm not really sure what color scheme that is. I'd have to check. Let's see what that is, just in case you want it. I guess this isn't a color scheme. This is just nothing. But you can see it is interactive, too, so when you set it, you can... And all that. I think it looks pretty cool when it's all dark like that. I'd use it at that over K-Spec, but this isn't a K-Spec video. This is a Cyanogen video. Moving on to the browser. Uh, we've got some cool features in here, actually. In the settings, we will start. You can have full screen. I think that's new. Uh, no, I mean, I think that's not new. Sorry. Um, and you can show visual zoom control, which are the two little magnifying glasses you see at the bottom that annoy you so much when you can just multi-touch and pinch to zoom and do that stuff. And then you also have user agent, um, which is cool because it lets you open web pages uh, like a normal web page if you're on like desktop or Internet Explorer 6. Uh, why you'd want Internet Explorer 6, I don't know. But you can be crazy and select that if you would like. Uh, I recommend Android because that's the way stuff will load faster. Um, but you can view full desktop versions of the site. It will not reg register your phone as a phone when it gets to the site, which is pretty snazzy. If you don't like somebody's mobile version of their site, you can just go, oh, user agent, desktop, scratch that. Nobody cares about Internet Explorer. Uh, and just do that. Um, which is cool. I like that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just going to show you some information about it. Uh, this is the kernel right there. It's a 0.33. Uh, 5.0.5.2 point 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 I believed I was on 0.3 but they are pretty much exactly the same. Um, so that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Carlos Graves, and I will see you guys in the next video, like I said two seconds ago. Have a good one.